Today, I'm gonna to show you skin retouching basics in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're going over some of the basics of skin retouching. And while skin retouching is its own genre with many, many different tools and techniques, we wanted to create a quick video to help you get into the idea, the basics and things you can get done in a short amount of time. In this video, we'll show you how to remove blemishes as well as fly away hairs and how to even out skin tone using dodging and burning. Here's our sample image and you can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. So the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of blemish removal. I'm gonna create a new layer. We're gonna go ahead and zoom into our image just a little bit. And we're gonna navigate over to our spot healing brush tool, which is our go-to tool for moving blemishes. So let's go to spot healing. My type I want to have set to content aware Make sure we're set to sample all layers and you want to be on a new layer. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and let's say we want to get rid of this uh, little flyaway hair, just some of these hairs that are over top of our subject. What I'm going to do is simply click and drag right over top of the hair, simply painting over the top of the hair. If you miss anywhere, not a big deal, just paint over it again. And the spot healing brush tool will sample areas that are similar to wherever you're painting and simply remove those objects. So for object removal like flyaway hairs, this is the best tool for the job. You can also use this tool to get rid of things like fine lines and wrinkles. Let's go ahead and move in. We're just gonna reduce some of these fine lines under our subject's eyes. And for the most part, our subject has fantastic looking skin, so there's not too many blemishes, but you can see even for these smaller details, this does a great job. Now, sometimes our subjects do have blemishes on their skin, so we'll show you how to remove those as well. Again, with the spot healing brush tool, I'm gonna use this as a little example here. Now, this is just a mole, and typically I would not remove this. I'll just show you how to do it, and then we're gonna bring it right back. All you have to do is paint right over top of the object that you'd like to remove. There we go. We'll let go, and if it doesn't look exactly like how you want it, it's not a big deal. Most of the time, you just have to paint a little bit more, and you're good to go. Now, if you do need to fill in any more detail, you can grab the clone stamp tool and sample with the clone stamp tool. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and sample right here. And then I'm just gonna simply paint a little bit right there. And you can see it fills that area in very nicely. Now, in my personal opinion, things like moles on a person's face are a defining feature. So I prefer to actually leave those in place. So let's just go ahead and grab the eraser tool. I'm gonna to hit E for the eraser tool. I'm just gonna erase my changes and we'll just make sure that that comes right back. We still have gotten rid of our flyaway hairs and some fine lines and wrinkles. Now it's time to smooth out some of the highlights and shadows on your subject's face. And to do this, we're gonna do a simple method of dodging and burning. So for dodging and burning, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. We don't wanna to be too far zoomed in. We're gonna to go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. Hit okay, and this time we're gonna make a, just a little bit of a brightness adjustment. This is gonna be our dodge layer, so let's go ahead and double click and call this dodge. There we go. Now the next important step here is you wanna change your blending mode from normal, you wanna go down to luminosity. This way it'll just affect your lights and darks and it won't affect your color. Now on our layer mask, we're gonna hit Control or Command I to invert our layer mask, making this layer invisible. So Control or Command I will make our white layer mask black. Now all we have to do is use our brush tool and paint on the areas that we wanna lighten up a little bit. Now, big key here, you wanna make sure that the flow of your brush is set relatively low, down to about 10%. And in this case, I'm gonna lighten areas up. So I'm gonna paint over some of these areas that are just a little bit darker, okay? These areas may be under our subject's eye. You can see they're just a little bit dark to begin with. So just by painting over there, it's very easy to simply lighten these up. You wanna choose your brush size about the size of the blemish or the dark area that you'd like to cover. So if you're working on a large area, go ahead and choose a large brush size. If you're working on a small area, just choose a small brush size. 
There we go. And you can see as I paint on, we're simply lightening up these dark areas and kind of making them disappear. So let's just show you there's the before and the after, just getting rid of some of these little dark areas there. Now we're gonna do the same thing, except instead of dodging, we're gonna go ahead and burn. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to curves. This time, we're gonna pull our curves down just a little bit. You don't have to go too far here. We're gonna change our blend mode from normal down to luminosity. There we are. Let's invert our layer mask by hitting Control or Command I. And this time, we're gonna just simply paint on some of the lighter areas, and it's just gonna darken them down just a little bit. And the result is skin that just looks a little bit more smooth. So we're taking the light areas and darkening them down just a little bit, and the dark areas and lighting them up. So you can see here, subtle, subtle changes. Those bright areas, we're just making them a little bit dark, and those dark areas, we're making a little bit brighter. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our image before and the after. While this was a quick video and showing just the basics, you can take these same principles and apply them to your entire image, making a huge difference to your photos. Now, if you wanna learn about professional level retouching, I highly suggest our pro tutorial, How to Master Frequency Separation Retouching. It's available on flearn.com right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen. We'll send you free Photoshop tutorials every single week. Thanks again. I'll learn you later.